Right, ladies, I've just got a few things to show you. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll see if I can get it a bit better. This pink and white, what you can see, is homemade paper. And what I've used, let me get my tub out. Do you remember I bought that? The uh, perfect uh, Paper Perfect Create Custom Paper. So I thought, right, I'll have a go. And I've come up with this. So I'm just going to lift it up. See if I can show you it a bit better. Can you see that? And what I've done, I've used my non-stick mat. I've spread this Paper Perfect all over it in a decent size. And then I left it to dry. I coloured it. I had actually added a bit of... Um, uh, what did I add into it? Now I can't remember. Oh, yes, I did. I added some uh, pink acrylic paint. Mixed it all up with a palette knife. Not completely. I wanted it pink and white. And then I've spread it across the non-stick paper. And at mat. And then what I've done is I left it to dry. And then before I went to bed last night, it still wasn't dry. It hadn't even started to dry. So I've just put over it. Because when I touched it, it lifted it straight off the mat. So what I've done is, because I've only done a thin layer, I rolled it out with my rolling pin. And then I've put some tissue paper, some toilet roll, straight over it. Apart from the fact that it's going to help seal it. So when it does dry, I'll be able to just use that as it is. I think if you look and see, it's got a fantastic texture to it. You see that? And I can't wait for that to dry, and then I'm going to use that on uh, a tag. So that's just testing it to see what it's like. And what I'm going to do before, when I put it on the tag, I'll stick it to the board, and then I'm going to um, give it a coat, a gloss coat, um, and then decorate the tag. So I just thought I'll try that, see what it turns out like. I also, um, let me just show you this. It's not finished. Do you remember the clock? The green clock? I've still got some more to do, as you can see. Um, but I'm letting the first coat dry. But I have gone over it using just a, one coat so far of the white. And they need to just get all this out with a tool. Just pick it all out, all these bits that have uh, got caught up. Uh, finish it off with the green, uh, covering the green when that's dry. And then I've just put a coat of this. And this is uh, golden copper flakes. And it doesn't it look different compared to the green? So that's what I've done with that. I'm just do a close-up. Like I said, there's a few patches that need uh, titivating up, basically. That's what it was like underneath. And that's what it's going to be like. I'm going to finish painting the face white when I've cleaned it all out. When I've... Uh, obviously I have to finish this first paint it again maybe need two or three coats of the white acrylic paint and then I'm going to paint the numbers black and the hands and put the hands back in it and I think that will look gorgeous somewhere I do like that so that's that project done or will be done then I tested some of the um, mediums that I bought so what I've used do you remember the big tub of sand, sand texture? So all I did with this one, if you can see that, it has got, a, can you see it better there? Look, it's got a lovely, lovely texture to it. Lovely texture. And what I've done, I've done the base coat with, um, oh, what did I use? Come on, silly old, get yourself together. Let me see, let me see. Uh Structured gel, glass bead texture. Oh, I didn't use that. What did I use first? I can't remember what I used first. <laughs> I think it was the structured gel. Was it that? And it, yeah, it, to do the background. So I've done that. And then on top of that, I've used the sand texture. Uh, and you can feel it. You can see the grains in it, right? Sandy grains. And then on top of that, I've used the um, bronze acrylic paint and the gold. I started on one end with the bronze and the other end, opposite end, with the gold. And then what I've done is I've just used my flat brush 
and you can see it better that way I think look and then just done this with the brush like that mixing the gold in with the bronze going back to the top and doing exactly the same to give it that texture and I have to say I do like that texture it's come out really really well so you, you can see that so when I do my tag I'm going to have more of the bronze on one end and gold on the other um, then what I did again gave the background a coat and this one I used the um, uh, the structured gel that's what I've used the structured gel on this first made it into peaks just using the um, palette knife holding the palette knife and doing that making it jump up and down and that's all I did to get that texture on top of that I've then used the burnt sienna on one end which is the chocolate this uh, rustic color here um, I just mixed it in and put it on well put it on poured it on and then just mixed it in with the knife and then on this end I used the oyster pearl then when that was done while it was before it dried what I did then I just sprayed it using the sea blue mist mine sea blue mist uh, the plush pink rose uh, and just give it a little spray you can see I don't know if you can see the, the blues in this end from my uh, glimmer mist again the pink in this end and it's really really good texture very shiny and um, I do like that I put a bit of the oyster pearl in like I say so I do like that that's going to be a lovely tag when it's done and then what I'll do is I'll cut them out and put them onto a, a board a firm board two millimeter thick now this one I use the glass bead texture just to see I mean I've done them big enough for my 8x4 tags so I put the glass bead texture on I did the base coat first put the glass bead texture on I then used um, the dark patina uh, acrylic paint um, the olive pearl and then I gl glimmered it with my emerald green glimmer mist and again we've got that texture and you can see the glass beads in it fabulous texture it is brilliant um, so I'm going to be using these I'm going to be cutting them out gluing them to the boards and using them and do need to for this to dry I've left it so I don't know how long it takes to dry it said 24 hours well there's a bit about that <laughs> um, what I'm going to be doing um, later on <clears throat> is a couple of um, videos um, just showing you what to do um, to decorate these type of tags that I'm just going to be making with these textures. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to quite enjoy that. Um, I don't think there's anything else at the moment. Oh, there is. Wait a minute. Oh, I'll come back because I've received a parcel this morning. I'll be back in a minute. I'll speak to you soon, ladies. Bye.